The Dangers of Asbestos, presented by the University of Alabama Safe State. Most everyone knows that asbestos is dangerous to human health, but do you know why it is? After all, it's just a type of naturally occurring mineral. Though this is true, breathing in asbestos can cause a variety of lung issues, from lung scarring to cancer. Asbestos is the name of a group of fibrous minerals that are resistant to heat and corrosion. Due to these properties, asbestos was widely used in construction materials prior to the 1990s, especially as insulation for buildings. As these materials deteriorate, they can release asbestos fibers into the air, which can then be inhaled. Inhalation of these fibers can lead to a variety of health effects, including scarring of the lungs or asbestosis, loss of lung function, which can lead to disability and death, lung cancer, and tumor growth in the lungs or stomach, otherwise known as mesothelioma. Due to this, a partial ban on some asbestos products was announced by the EPA in 1989. This ban decreased the likelihood that asbestos-containing materials and building materials, ACM and ACBM respectively, would be used in housing and schools. However, this did not ban all asbestos products, and they are still used in industrial construction and for pipe fittings and insulation today. In many schools built prior to 1980, asbestos-containing building material is managed in place if it is in good condition. This is done instead of removal and avoids the risk of asbestos releases that could occur during removal. In these cases, the asbestos is removed when it becomes deteriorated to the point that it can be crumbled by a human hand, otherwise known as friable. It is important to have your school surveyed for asbestos, and if found, continue to have reinspections to ensure that the asbestos-containing building material has not become friable and therefore could be inhaled by building occupants. This is especially important in public and nonprofit private schools, where the EPA requires an initial inspection and periodic reinspections to keep school children, teachers, and other building occupants safe from exposure to asbestos fibers. The Alabama Department of Public Health, in partnership with UA Safe State, administers the Compliance Monitoring Program for the State of Alabama on behalf of the EPA. It's our job to provide assistance, education, and outreach to schools regulated under the Asbestos Hazards Emergency Response Act, or AHERA, in Alabama. This act regulates asbestos management in public and nonprofit private schools. So, if you have questions about a potential asbestos containing material, asbestos related hazards, or asbestos in schools, contact Safe State today. We're here to help. Check out our website at alabamasafestate.ua.edu forward slash AHERA. Email us at safestateep at ua.edu or call us at 855-517-3347.